Good morning. I'm recording at my tread desk, doing my morning routine of walking and reading. And I'm about to take my blood sugar and blood ketone numbers in order to figure out what my insulin ratio is. This is the kit that I will open up and show you what is inside, the tools that I use. So first is a Rely On Premier Compact glucose meter that comes from Walmart in a complete box that has 50 test strips um, and it has a uh, lancing device. It also comes with a few needles to go inside of the lancing device and there's a little carry case that uh, comes with it but I use the carry case that I got with this um, keto coach meter this is a, a keto coach meter so I'm about to take my numbers now I'll start with the um, setting up the rely on with a test with test strips so I take out a test strip and it just goes into the bottom of the meter and it will turn on and it will flash a little um, icon to let me know that it's ready to have a drop of blood sucked up through the pipette end now I'm just gonna set that down while I get out the ketone test strip for blood ketone measuring. And I just open the package and slip out the test strip. And that goes into the top of the keto coach meter. The meter will turn on and it will also flash a drop of blood at the icon to say that it is ready for reading the blood ketone measurement. So now I only have to stick myself once if I time everything right. I'm actually, since I've been talking, I'm gonna put this strip back in just to make sure it keeps flashing. And the keto coach is ready. Came on. Okay, so I'm going to lance or poke my finger with the little device here. Snap. It draws a drop of blood. And then I'm going to put the pipette end of the Keto Coach test strip into the drop of blood. And that will go ahead and count to give me a value counting up and it says that I have 0.3 ketone measurement that I'm burning in my blood and now before I do the rely on I'm just going to double check that it's still flashing the drop because if it's not flashing it won't read correctly and I've wasted a test strip so now I put the end of the test strip into the drop of the blood and that will go ahead and count and it says that I am burning 90, I have, I'm sorry, I'm circulating 92 um, mg slash DL uh, glucose, blood sugar. So now, the next thing I'm gonna do is a little math. This part is where I figure out my insulin ratio. I'm going to use a calculator app here and I am going to type in well I'm gonna get rid of the ads first okay I'm gonna type in the glucose number that I had 95 and then I'm gonna do division so I divide by the 0 0.3 of the blood ketone measurement that I had and that tells me that I have 317 for an insulin ratio. I round up, so 
Um, instead of the 316, I'm rounding up to 317, and that is my insulin ratio. To learn more about the insulin ratio, you can go look for YouTube videos from Dr. Boz. That's D-R-B-O-Z. That's where I learned this information, and I use this information to help me manage my weight and my wellness. That 316 that I have is above what Dr. Boz says is high insulin. Her high insulin ratio is 200. I'll have notes in the bottom of this video that you can read more about that. And um, anyway, I just took my insulin ratio walking here at the tread desk and I will be fasting until a little bit later in the day when I'm ready to take a meal. When I see that my glucose is lower and that my insulin ratio is lower. I do wanna add that even though Dr. Boz is teaching about a ketogenic lifestyle. I do not adhere to a ketogenic lifestyle. I want to be able to eat all of the macros. I want to use fats and carbs, which are the two fuels the body uses, and I want to have protein. So I do not adhere to a low carb or ketogenic lifestyle. The way I got started eating according to my blood numbers initially was just to track my glucose and use the glucometer, the um, this rely on premier compact that I got from Walmart. I used that as my fuel gauge and I got that idea from a blog post that's titled how to use a glucose meter as a fuel gauge I found that article back in probably November of 2018 and by December 5th 2018 I was using my glucose numbers to guide me as to when my body needed more fuel or um, had too much fuel and I needed to wait and doing that is what led me into the fasting lifestyle. And I resisted fasting. I didn't think I could fast. I didn't want to fast, but I wanted to lose weight. And so I, I started waiting for my glucose numbers to fall, but I also researched what was fasting going to do to my body. I was concerned that it would lower my metabolism. And um, I believed that I needed to be eating, you know, every three to four hours during the day to keep my body content and happy and my metabolism revving. And, but I learned a lot about fasting through the research I did. Unfortunately, most of the information I found came from the ketogenic or low carb proponents and I was not interested in returning to that lifestyle. I did low, low carb living for 17 years and I had regular bouts of caving in to carbohydrate cravings. Then I discovered how to manage eating carbs as well as fueling with fats and I've been doing that now um, for many years and the last year and a half is when I have brought in eating according to my blood feedback numbers. First, just with the glucose meter, and then as I learned more about insulin, I brought in using a ketone meter to be able to measure and find out what was my insulin ratio doing in the background. You can have healthy glucose numbers but still have high insulin. And insulin has a great deal of effect on all of the systems in our body. It affects our arteries, our veins, um, our major organs. So anyway, that's what I'm doing.